Hey, fifth and sixth grade. Um, I'm going to be doing a video this week on the questions, and this is going to be for chapters 9, 10, and 11. So I have the answers written on the board behind me, and so I'm going to go over those with you guys, and hopefully this will help, okay? All right, number one, what didn't Edmund enjoy? I'm sorry, why didn't Edmund enjoy his dinner? And it was because he kept thinking about the Turkish delight. <clears throat> number two, how did Edmund feel at the mention of Aslan? He felt mysterious and a horrible feeling at the same time. Okay, um, number three, what did Edmund convince himself to be true about the White Witch? That she was probably the rightful queen and that she was nice to him and that what her enemies said weren't true. So the things they were saying weren't true. All right, number four, what did Edmund daydream about on his way to the palace? What he would do when he was king. <clears throat> so that's number four. Number five, describe the witch's house in the moonlight. It's a small castle with needle-sharp spirals. Spires, I'm sorry. Um, number six, what frightened Edmund in the courtyard? An enormous lion was sitting there crouched. Number seven, what silly thing did Edmund do to the lion statue? He drew a mustache on it. Number eight, what news did Edmund tell the witch? His brothers and sisters were at the beaver's house and what he had heard about Aslan. Because you remember they were talking about Aslan at the beaver's house. Okay, I'm going to move this over. All right, we're going to go over uh, chapter 10. So this is, it should be the next page. Uh, chapter 10 says, what did Mrs. Beaver do while everyone else was hurrying to leave? She packed supplies into sacks. Number two, where did the group finally stop to rest? A hole in the bank hidden under the bushes. Number three, why did Mr. Beaver hurry out of the cave alone? And what did he see and why was it significant? All right, so the first thing is he heard the bells. And what did he see? He saw Father Christmas. And why was this important or significant? Um, because that means the, ma the, ma the witch's magic was weakening, okay? And then number four, I want you to list some of the gifts and advice each were given. I just listed the gifts um, that were given. <clears throat> so we have um, a new Masoa machine, and that was for Miss Beaver. The dam was fixed and completed, and that was for Mr. Beaver. A sword and a shield, which were for Peter. A bow and arrow. Um, which was for Susan, and a horn. I didn't put that on there, but there was also a horn for Susan as well. Um, and then a bottle of healing and a dagger for Lucy. Okay, so those were the things that were given. <clears throat> All right, number uh, one for chapter 11. So now moving down here to chapter 11. <clears throat> it says, what did the white witch give Edmund for food and drink? So it was a hunk of dry bread and water. Number two... What instructions did the witch give to the wolf? Take his best wolves and kill whatever they find at the deep, at the beaver's house. All right, and number three, describe what happened to the creatures when the witch discovered their celebration. And that, that was they were turned to stone. Okay, and then I have one more, and I know it's kind of far over, so I'm going to move this a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can read what this says, but I'm going to read it to you in, um, as well. It says, the question is, what were the signs spring had come? So I put snow was melting. It was getting warmer. And then it says, how did the witch react? She was impatient and no one was to talk about Aslan. Okay. So those are the questions for chapters 9 through 11. I hope this helps you guys with um, understanding what's going on in the book right now. Again, if y'all have any questions or concerns, y'all make sure and reach out to me. Everybody have a good day. Bye, guys.